Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song again. I'm a little later than I wanted to be getting back to you. I was going to try to have this video up this afternoon. I think it's about 7.45 p.m. So not too bad. I did take a break this afternoon and visit some with my sweetheart. We had a long discussion about some things, so that was really nice. Anyway, it's fun to get tied up talking with somebody you love. That said, this is the journal from earlier today. This is Big Blue the third, and this is Big Blue the fourth. So you could see they're, they're very, very similar. Let me pull this up one more time, and let's just look at the covers. So it's just layers of blue fabric. Some of the fabric's different, the background, but you can see bits and pieces like this is the same as this. The stamps are basically the same. There's a little bit of this on each one. And this blue, there's a little of that on each one. The back looks a little different on here. This bird song sticker is on the outside versus being on the inside back cover of this one. And we looked at that earlier. They have about the same number of postcards slash cards tucked inside. I think it's around 23. They each have one of these charms and they each have a charm on the front. This one is what looks like a part of a peacock feather. This one has a tiny little blue bird and some beads. And I made both of the charms. They both have the kilt pins. Um, of course, this one has that shiny fabric there. They're pretty much the same. They're about the same size. So let's look at the inside of Big Blue the fourth. And I did leave space again for journaling. Now it's a one signature journal with about 28 pieces of paper. So if you count front and back, what is that? 56, 100, like 112 pages or something. And they're fun to work in. They don't, you know, you can see it's a little bit rounded right here. I love mine. That's Mine is very similar to this. So there are a couple of, um, I got that upside down. There's just a little card that's a vintage baby card. And I love this postcard. Home is where the art is. And I love that blue there. Each one has a packet of stamps in case you want to do the large page of postage stamps like I did. I love this blue glass bottle top. And there is a page from an old book. You can see the paper is old in that. It had a lot of art images in it. Look at this card I found recently. I'm not arguing. I'm simply explaining why I'm right. I love the blue there. That's probably not always best to be that way, but the blue is why it's here. This is a library card. It has models, artists. I'm not sure what BIS is. CBIS for more entries. So I'm just not sure. Anyway, here's an envelope that's got a stamp on it. It's got blue. I um, sewed that down to make a pocket. I love this postcard. That's a vintage postcard. I just love the four images and all the blue there. And here you can see there's a lot of space for you to work, for you to paint stamp, glue things in. I love this old design there, the blue, and it looks sort of like a calendar or, you know, it's got some of the zodiac that looks like, is it Pisces fish? Anyway, I love the, um, that looks like some type of, I was going to say violet, but I don't know for some reason. I guess it is. Here is an old cover from a book with stencils, stencil art. Um, you can tell it has some wear. 
I love the blue in that. And you could definitely, you can, the fun thing about journals like this, as you already know, is that you can completely change a page. Just completely collage over it if you don't like it. So, just today, not today, today the mail didn't run, over the weekend, I received the newest little catalog from a company called Magnolia Pearl. And if you haven't heard of them, you should look up their clothing. It is just breathtaking. It is ethereal and just kind of gypsy, light. I don't know. It's really, it's really, really pretty clothing. But that kind of has a blue look. That really um, muted blue. The sheets, I believe, are white. And her top is probably white. But there is some blue in the shoes and the pants. And... So there is another postcard with some blue. I love this wallpaper with the bird. And there's another page from a vintage flower book. It's the same as this one. Um, looks like hydrangeas. And just more paper. I like this page. I had to put her right here. She's got a little bit of blue on her um, ballet dress. But this looks like a house with a smokestack, so I just put her right above the smokestack, like she's dancing right out in the smoke. And that has some blue. Of course, I think the other end of this page in the back has more on it. And there is some wallpaper with the beautiful blue and yellow. It feels sort of French. There's a little stamped butterfly. And here's a piece of that really pretty paper that I found recently, the fancy paper. And it looks sort of silver to me. Silver is like a really a reflection of blue almost, it seems like to me. Silver and blue and gray. And I love this page. I wish I had the artist name in front of me. I don't. If I find it in my papers, I'm going to come back and add it. But I had this really neat calendar with art dolls all through it. And I just love this one. It's made from an Avon container. And just look at the legs are made from beads. And then these little adornments, the little porcelain head there and the bird. So this is another page from that little... Um, book from Magnolia Pearl with the clothes. And I love the blue shirt, her blue eyes. It says, you have seen your golden wings, why do you worry? And this is from a nice calendar page, that beautiful bird. And there's a bird on this side. The uh, birdhouse actually had a blue top. And more wallpaper. Here's a vintage um, music page, Blue Lovebird. So that had to go in. I put a little piece of washi tape across the top on that side because there was a little tear. And I didn't want that to tear down into the words. And here's a piece of tea stained paper uh, with a pocket and a postcard. I love the blue top there. And there's just a pretty blue shelf sewn onto that page. And more tea stained paper with a pocket here. And this is from a greeting card that's just torn from the front. I love those blue flowers. Robin Rawlings. I have, I think, a whole box of things by her over here. Look at that. I just realized that that's who that is. Neat. Uh, blue Love Bird. And this is pretty neat. This is the skeleton of a human. And then this one has a bird. It's written in a foreign language. I wonder if that's, wait, no, maybe it's Old English. What is this? Oh no, it's not English. It looks like it could be French. But it's got everything shaped differently. The U's look like V's. Anyway, that's, you can see the bird beak there. Feel free to work right over this or add to it. And of course, this was from a nature book. And on this side, we have this beautiful peregrine falcon. And I love the way it looks blue. This is from an old history book. Uh, it has the 
the images that are that uh, really pretty blue and black. That's from an old calendar. I love the blue engine. And here we have, this is, is that that same image of the dancer coming out of the smokestack? Yeah, there she is. So, and you can see the little touches of blue. And here's blue lace. And let's see. This is from an old book. It might be a Rand McNally book of Bible stories. But of course, this looks like um, Moses when he was found in the little ark in the water and his sister showed up on his behalf. And then here's some pretty paper, a little pocket on this side. And here is the old ad again on a postcard. That image is in the other book. The other that's in big blue, the three, it's the image that's in the center. And I had another one of these postcards with this beautiful salt glaze. Jane Hamlin, Millfield Pottery, Yorkshire. That's so pretty. And I love this center image. That's one that I had scanned for my fairy journal, but I love the blue in this. She believed in the magic of fairies, and I love this fabric. Uh, one of my friends brought me a whole stash of things today. Um, let me just show you one thing so you'll know what I'm talking about. Absolute treasures. So, uh, just look. Talk about blue. Look at those buttons. I'm just uh, so overwhelmed by this. And I'm really grateful. So, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so this fabric was in there as well. Look at that blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. It looks royal. Love the butterflies here. And in this pocket, there's another one of those postcards with the ship. And here is just a blank card for journaling. All of the blue images there. And here's another little textile card with the blue stripes. And there's a tea stained map page. And now we're getting into the second half of some of these pages. Here's some upholstery trim that's been glued to that page, the other part of the train. And again, I left space for you to be able to add whatever you want to. I love this postcard, the Washington Monument. This is from 1960. And there's a little pocket there. Um, I'm sure that I would probably do something on top of that, whether it's painting or drawing or gluing something down. And then here's another pocket. I love the blue in this. So there's a little card. Um, it's blank on the inside. A friendly hello. I love the little blue sailor suit. And then here is a vintage blue car, home of Franklin D. Roosevelt. And I love this card as well. Look at the blue boat. Isn't that pretty? And more tea stained paper. Um, so there's the other part of that um, birdhouse. Oh, I love that. And look, it's got the little drawer in it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, you can see the drawer. Okay. I love this. It's just a blue jay. Well, the jay's not blue. Anyway. That was in a little children's, a set of children's um, encyclopedias. And I love the blue fabric there. There is another one of those art dolls. And you can tell it's made from one of those tins that the mints come in. And look at the blue beads. I just love it. That is so neat. And again, if I can find the cover that had the artist's name, and I don't remember, and I didn't see it on here, but I will definitely come back and include that in the link. There's another beautiful blue boat. 
the swift. And like that image, the blue dress. And more blue clothing. So there's a lot of room here for you, for you to work in your big blue journal. Copyright 1952. So yeah, that one had some love. You could you can see it. And then more flowers. I love this blue. And that's got some blue spray ink on it. This was the inside uh, cover page or the inside page to a book. You know how they have the blank page in the front and the back. And that's just a really nice sheet of paper. And this little card, I just love that little blue patchwork bird. That's pretty, Lake Tahoe. And there's just a piece of wallpaper there. And look at the blue. I just love these. Really pretty. And here we are at the back. This is neat. It's got blue in it, gold. Um, that's in a foreign language. Well, the pigeon and the Eucharistic Tower. And then here is a large card that's been made from an image from a calendar. There is another one of the birds from that vintage uh, kitchen towel that I have. That's the last one of the birds. I still have part of the towel, but all the birds have been used at this point. So that is that. Each one, like I said, has about 23 cards. Um, they're very close in size, as you can tell. And so I'm going to go ahead and publish this video. And at this point, I think they're both spoken for. And who knows, I may add a few more things before it's over. But you know, I'm not going to alter the structure or anything. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.